Our top story, new research with a serious new message about pregnant women and swine flu. Pregnant women are four times more likely to be hospitalized if they get the illness and more likely to suffer serious complications or death. Researchers say expectant mothers should be at the front of the line as soon as a vaccine is available. So this new research begs the question, what should pregnant women take out of this? Our health reporter, Terry Reith, has been going over the research and joins us now from Edmonton. So, Terry, just walk us through the major findings in this study. Well, the major findings are that women who contract the swine flu while pregnant are at much higher risk of contracting pneumonia, a viral pneumonia, and winding up on a respirator, and, and sadly and more shockingly, are at much higher risk of dying as a result of the swine flu. Now, we have some Canadian figures that we can show you. Uh, this is uh, numbers leading up to the 8th of July, when the Public Health Agency of Canada put out its warning about pregnant women. And it found that of 18 women who had contracted swine flu in Canada, 15 of those women had to be hospitalized, and two of them uh, died, which uh, really underscores the message of this study that's published in The Lancet, done by the Centers for Disease Control. So, Terry, uh, obviously the statistics are pretty stark here. Uh, must have pregnant women asking the question, what can they do right now to protect themselves? What can they do right now? Well, there's been uh, some conflicting information on this. Uh, we had the, the uh, author of this study, Dr. Denise Jamison, on uh, a little while ago, and she was saying that the, the, the notion of uh, avoiding crowds is, is not something that uh, pregnant women should, uh, should worry too much about. Well, that runs contrary to the uh, information that the Public Health Agency of Canada put out three weeks ago when it issued its warning, and it suggested that women might want to consider avoiding crowds. Uh, uh, you know, go about doing your daily life, which includes going to work or going to church or that sort of thing. But what it's talking about is those uh, those large uncontrolled crowds. Now, above and beyond that, uh, the study in The Lancet found that Tamiflu, the antiviral drug, should be started within 48 hours of the first symptoms. So if you're a pregnant woman and you start feeling flu-like symptoms, get hold of your medical professional right away. Uh, other things that, uh, that should be done are the usual things that we've been talking about right since the beginning of this uh, swine flu pandemic. And, and those are the things like hand washing, keeping your own space uh, nice and clean and uh, trying to avoid uh, picking up any of those germs. So I believe we have actually uh, a comment from a Dr. Jameson out of Atlanta. So let's listen what she has to say. Right. We're recommending that pregnant women carry on um, as they normally would. There's no need to change their behavior. There's no need to avoid crowds. And certainly women who are considering pregnancy should not delay their plans based on this. Right. So she's uh, giving a, a fairly reassuring message here. Uh, and uh, I think that's also uh, what uh, the Public Health Agency of Canada uh, intended to do with its, uh, with, its, with its guidelines, which are on its website. Uh, but uh, again, the, the PHAC is uh, recommending uh, perhaps uh, social distancing is something that pregnant women might want to consider. Okay, all good to know. Terry, thanks very much for the update on this story.